Hello everybody, this is uh, Christian, I got Shannon, we got Jack, we got Weldon, and we got uh, today joining us, J-Prov, who wasn't able to be here last week because something about blood work and I don't fucking know, but the lines here he blurred. is. Yeah, the lines, are lines, very blurred. lines have been very blurred. Word line. So take it away, ladies and gentlemen. I know you want it. Well, so, I guess we're gonna start with trailers. Um, also, yeah, I'm, I'm we'll, sick a little bit, so we I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Thanks, nasally. Christian sounds like someone. Let's, stuck we're gonna start with some trailers. Like uh, all, all right, good. thank you. Okay, we're gonna start with some trailers. A lot of trailers dropped uh, over the past couple of weeks. Um, so I guess we'll start with the big one: Spider-Man: Homecoming. That's not the big one. Okay. Yeah, and, I was. Wow. I was the driver. I gave too much credit. Yeah, I think Train Spotting Two is the big <laughs> one. This is all the dating for you. Dude, come on. It came out. Well, come it got well. J. Prob, since we when we started this, you were like, "Well, if it gets brought up, we'll talk about it." Well, we brought it up. So, how? What did you guys think of Train Spotting Two? I looked at the trailer. I saw the first time I saw it was when I went to see Cure for Wellness, which which was kind of shit, but and. Yeah, and I, well, that's another story for another podcast. <laughs> oh. And I was like, "This looks like fun." I don't know what the hell is Train Spotting One. I've never heard of it before. But hey, they got a sequel, so you know, it must have done something. Right? I was like, "I might see that. That looks like fun. That looks like a movie that really doesn't give a shit." So when it when yeah, it, it gets a right. release, when it gets a bigger release, because as we found out before we started, that it has a re- like it just got a really small like opening for movie theaters around America. So when it gets a big one, I'm probably gonna go see it. My opinion on Train Spotting Two is the same opinion that Daniel Day Lewis had toward his son in the end of There'll Be Blood. Um, y- it means nothing to me. I could care less about it. Wow, Jacob, what you know? You could have just said that, and anybody would not have realized that's a quote from There Will Be Blood, and no one would have given a shit either. I actually, I never saw, I never saw the trailer for Train Spotting 2, but, like, I'm a huge fan of the first one, so I'm actually, like, I'm probably just not going to, I'm, I'm just going to continue just not watching the trailer, and I'm just going to go straight to watching the movie. Great marketing. Just because I, re- I really don't want to know what happens. I'm actually really excited for it, because, like, obviously, like, I brought it up, I kind of really like the movie. <laughs> I like the I first it up, one. So. Like, it, that's one of uh, Ewan McGregor's first roles, and he was really good in it, and it's, like, it's very stylized in a way that I really that I liked, and I'm hoping that they continue because it's basically they went, "Hey, you know all these crazy kids from the first movie? Let's age them by 25 years." Oof. It's basically what the plot is, and that sounds like a really fun idea. Uh, the only the only problem that I might have with Transponding Two is that it might be a movie that hey, well, it I might be a movie. <laughs> <laughs> might be a movie. I don't know. Maybe it's a TV show. Occasionally. <laughs> But uh, it might be a comic book, I don't know. But anyway, the, the point I was making was that it might be a movie that you really need to see the original movie to understand. Yeah, which is it which is like one of those movies. Yeah, kind for of. someone like I, I think that would really be a turnoff for that movie if I wanted to go see it. Yeah. Although, uh, I have a question, though. Yes. What? Uh, to the people who were like, oh, I, don't, I don't know the movie, I'm probably not going to see it. Do you know what it's about? <laughs> no, I, what, no, I don't. I don't. Well, I don't really no- care, so... <laughs> I think someone <laughs> well, I know what it's about. ...during a robbery yeah. or something, and like... No, and not. Not. No, no. <laughs> you're wrong. You're entirely <laughs> wrong. Well, then, well, then, just stop. I got for the trailer, and I was clearly wrong it's about it. wrong. <laughs> Is it about Josh Brolin getting a suitcase in the middle still of the wrong. desert, no, and he's being chased wrong. by Javier Bardem, or is that a wrong movie? <laughs> That's the wrong movie. <laughs> Alright, I was just wondering. No. It's about, a, it's about a couple of heroin addicts. Yeah, it's about oh, heroin addicts in, in Scotland, England, right? which Brazilian. is like the best place oh, Scotland, to do heroin. Yeah. And then it has like the best scene where like one of them finds meth and they're trying to do a job. Oh, it's a oh, it's God. a Danny Boyle film. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just oh, I, I like Danny Boyle. It's based off of a really good book too. Cool. Oh, I, I like Danny Boyle. Look at that. There's a scene. There's a there's a there's a quote in the book that thankfully, that, that unfortunately, they didn't include in the movie where he injects heroin straight into a vein into a vein in his dick. Oh, oh yeah, it's like a uh, enjoyable uh, when we got there. Um. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Like actual heroin addicts do that when they I'm run into the spots yeah. to use on their yeah, arm. Yeah, all the time. Well, that has met heroin addicts. Yeah, yeah. honestly, like yeah, I've done it before. I've face. done it. I they, I've helped them with it before, and it gets weird. I'm telling you, and I'm not sure. If, like, like, they make noises, and I'm not sure if they enjoy it or they hate it, and I can't, and I can't really tell which one. All right, let's go on. Um, <laughs> I can smell, smell the BS through the Skype call. <laughs> wow, no shit. I'm definitely a heroin addict. Yeah. All right, so next, I, all right. Spider-Man Homecoming. 
Oh, I was gonna say it, but all right, Spider-Man: Homecoming. Still so good. yeah, I was a little disappointed by the second trailer. Um, I didn't like. Yeah. I no. feel like um, I think the plot for Spider-Man: Homecoming is somewhat appropriate, just because when everyone saw it, oh my god, Jacob, I'm laughing at you. I'm like just noticing your Skype icon now. <laughs> What is, oh, that's right, yeah, how ironic. Um, but anyways, um, I think it's appropriate because everyone's big issue when they saw Civil War was like, oh my god, the new Spider-Man's so fucking young. Why is he like two years old? I didn't mind that. So, I mean, yeah, I, know, I mean, like, I mean, well like the, general, the general consensus was sort of like, oh my god, why is he so young? Especially since like Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, they weren't, like they were playing teenagers, but they're obviously not teenagers. I think so now you have this kid. Yeah, I mean, you Toby's have this three. kid who's like a convincing teenager, yeah. and it's sort of like, oh, yeah. uh, you know, you're like, you're not, you're not used to Spider Man being that young, and everyone else is sort of commenting on it. And I, yeah, we're gonna get the whole gist of the movie is going to be like, oh wow, I'm not a kid though. I can handle the villains and everything. I can do the adult stuff. And for some reason, I'm not immediately turned off by it. Like, I do still want to see it, just because even 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 yeah, with I, that even with that like huge plot point, I'm still going to see it. Yeah, I probably. Just, I, I hate whenever I like contradicting myself now. Um, I hate whenever a what? movie has a tagline that just sums up everything. I don't like need to see it afterwards. Like, because there was we were watching in the theater. I said it immediately. I was like, it was it was like. Um, I, I'm the, you're like, you're treating me like a kid, but you are a kid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, you were telling me about dumb. that. That's so dumb shit. Do you want, do you want to know that this is literally just a Marvel version of the Spongebob movie? Holy yeah, kind of. Yeah. Uh, no, make that. Make it. I want it. Sure, I guess. We got um, the League we, of Super Friends. Can we talk about how Michael Keaton is contradicting his whole career now? Because in Birdman, he was like, I'm not doing any other superhero roles. And now well, he's... JK. And he's like, no, wait. They they slid across. They slid that Manila envelope with thirty million dollars. He was like, oh, I'm back in the game, I guess. Yeah. Thirty million dollars. <laughs> that might be a little expensive, but he he gets the point across. Well, that's probably what happened. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, crap. Yeah, cool. I'll be the freaking vulture, the most cartoonish Spider-Man character in the world. Really? Um, why like why out of all Spider-Man villains? Would he be that one? Why had a, Why would they even choose that to begin with? I don't know. Yeah, that, like that's my issue. Spider-Man. Like, out of all like the interesting Spider-Man villains that we've had, what? Why? Where's I my boy why. Venom? It's all the Spider-Man villains are cartoons. It's, 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 it's like a Spider-Man cool. three like like legend almost. Like like I think every like Hollywood producer just thinks, oh, if you have Venom in your movie, it's gonna turn into Spider-Man three. So we don't want that. No, get him out of here. I think it's. I think what they. I think what they're doing is just sort of being like, you know what Michael Keaton's really good at? Playing Eating birds. Playing <laughs> birds and flying rats. Yes. You know, I'm a big Spider-Man fan, do. okay? I'm a humongous Spider-Man fan, and I really? can tell you now, every <laughs> single every single villain in Spider-Man is cartoonish. You're not going to get away from that. You know, it's not like Batman where you can kind of make but a... But he's uh, a bird! It's not like Batman where you can make a realistic Bane or, or like a... Ju- it's... They're all a bird or electrocuting something or yeah, flying but- around. They're all going to be cartoonish. You can't escape it. Yeah, yes, also, but they're... I think also but that's, for the but fact I that... I want to uh, see more... I Here's the thing, though, because Spider-Man... Like, this is the first time where Spider-Man's actually getting back into Marvel's hands and now Marvel can make the executive decisions... I want to see Marvel, like, take on the villains. Like, I want to see the, their interpretations yeah. on Doc Ock and Venom. Yeah, that'd and be nice. And Green Goblin. Like, I'm really excited for that. And exactly. we get the vulture. <laughs> it's still Sony. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I, had a, I think, I mean, it's not, you know, not, not, that, not that Sam Raimi didn't do a great job. Love you, Sammy Poo. But, oh, Sam yeah. Raimi. Oh, <laughs> Sam man. Daddy. Okay, can I just talk about Sam Raimi for, like, two seconds now? Sure. Sam Raimi. I hate you after this. No, no, no. So Spider Man Two. I love Sam Raimi. Spider Man Two is one of my favorite superhero movies of all time. And there's a scene in Spider Man Two. You know, he loses his powers or whatever. He doesn't believe in himself or whatever. And there's a scene where it's the montage of him kind of just living his life or whatever, going to class, studying. It's like a musical montage. And at the end of it, a freeze frame happens where Tobey Maguire is basically looking directly at camera. No other director would do that except for Sam Raimi, which is what I love about him. (laughs) Sam Raimi's like, fuck it, we'll try it. We'll try. We'll have a freeze frame in the middle of Spider-Man 2. Let's see how it works. Uh, I love when they, like, go over, like, what they did in Sam... I, I, I have a joke that, like, Sam Raimi, because he's so used to Evil Dead, when they were like, oh, we'll give you a really big budget to do the Spider-Man movies. He's like, okay. And then they're just like, okay, how are we gonna get Spider-Man to swing? And he's like, okay, well, first we're gonna strap him to a helicopter. 
and they're like, uh, <laughs> we have this thing called CG that we might be able to use. <laughs> uh, but I, I always love my Tobey Maguire. I can't get enough. He's, yes, I know people have started to hate him over the years, but I still love Me. him. I don't um, like Tobey Maguire. I, I always found the kind of he be the middleman. He was great in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Well, he was great in, uh, uh, what's the movie about Bobby Fischer? Um, the hell was that movie about the chess champion? I forget what it was called, uh, but he was he was really good. And I the the name escapes me, but I I love my Tom McGuire. He's the middleman you always want to root for. So that's kind of my opinion on Spider Man. Really. I've so, I've started to hate him. Like, he died McGuire. to me after Brothers. He was dead to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, he Brothers. hasn't really been working. Did you know he's Brothers. in the Boss Baby? What? Oh my God. He's the narrator. He's the narrator oh in the God. Boss Baby. Yeah. Out of all the voices in Hollywood, <laughs> you could choose for a narrator. Why go with Tobey Maguire? What? <laughs> that, that's, like, that that's like asking why? Michael Sarah to like, like narrate your like Be best Batman. picture. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like. They just start and it's like, it's like, it's like, he's like, this is a world made of where babies um do things. Mary Jane, Mary Jane, please notice me. <laughs> uh, that's our opinion on Spider Man. It feels like we're you know. Somewhat excited for it. Cautiously excited, I'd say. Not really? <laughs> yeah, not, not really. Not, not at all, in fact. Uh, like, right. Once I saw the trailer, I went, yeah, definitely no. Okay, um... What else? Alien, I guess, is their next Covenant? one? Covenant? Yeah. Oh, I think yeah. it... Oh, my gosh! <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Christian, you know, done. Christian, Christian, you haven't well, talked that much. I want to hear what you oh, really? think about Covenant. Yeah, yeah Christian. Uh, I think it looks pretty fucking lit. Except for the fact that fucking what's his name, the pilot looks. Uh, he, Danny his, McBride. Yeah, yeah, Danny McBride plays the same goddamn role every single time. So I don't see why James Franco is even there, but okay, I guess. I mean, otherwise, <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot of weird things going on because like, oh, cool, the aliens there, and like, I guess they're harking back to the originals. I don't know, but also the fact that oh, they're also introducing new things. I'm like, oh god, they did that in fucking uh. The, the pre prequel to what was it called Prometheus. Prometheus, they did that in fucking yeah, Prometheus too, and that didn't turn out that well. I feel like there's a lot of uh, movies coming out that are sort of calling back to older movies. Yeah, no, that's that's a really yeah, new, that's a new trend that, that I've seen a lot. Actually, we talk about yes. It's just, um, people are just yeah. doing that, Which, expecting it to be every, everyone to be like all nostalgic and to be like, oh shit, this new movie's coming out. It's it's almost like the old movies again, but better. And it's like not yeah. all the time. Yeah, but uh, that formula worked in 2015. Creed, Force Awakens, and Fury Road all worked because they yeah. harken back to. But now everyone's doing yeah. it yeah, because that yeah. works. Yeah, but yeah. for every Fury Road, we get the minions too. Exactly. Because, yeah. Yeah. Like every I, Force yeah. Awakens, you know. I, I think they're just like sequels are doing so well and they're a guaranteed like money grab that people are just doing them and it, it's really a problem in Hollywood no, to be honest with are, you. Yeah. Looking yeah. I'm so hating they're... it. Like, um, I'm excited for like T2 and like the new Blade Runner and things like that, but I'm just absolutely like annoyed. Yeah, I want to see I want to see new, something new. Which is yeah, why um, Baby Driver excites me. Alien, you know, what have you had? Alien, Aliens, we've had 2, 3, 4, those terrible Apparently eight. Ridley Scott's making like 8 more after this. Oh, yeah. I don't four. I don't know how to feel about yeah, that. Yeah, I don't think I don't know how you can how? What are you Alien, but, out of this story? Honestly, there's so there's only so much you can do. Exactly. Yeah. There's only so much you could. So as much as I weird. love that universe is created in, there's only so much you can do with it. That's why Alien Honestly. is so smart because they said, "What can we do with Alien and make it into an action movie?" Well, we'll do this, and then it worked out so well. It worked out really well, yeah. But then yeah. Alien Three came out. Three uh, or eight, yeah. eight <laughs> two Prometheus. None of them worked. Uh, Alien vs Predator. I thought I, I thought was actually pretty solid. Uh, yeah, I, I like that. It was, it was funny. I used to make fun of aliens because it was like, oh, let's call it Alien Two. No, aliens. It's aliens. It's like kind of going that sick but, plural. But that like works so well because it's like, oh, we saw the destructive power of one alien. Let's think about more than one alien. That's terrifying when yeah. you like think about it in the context of like exactly. the '80s as well. Exactly. Um, like, alien, oh. both, um, both the first two Alien movies were. Like, uh, oh, they're gonna rub out the aliens because these guys have, have guns and pulse lasers and stuff. It's like, nah, but there's 50 million aliens now. <laughs> so like, there's too many aliens to shoot. Yeah. I mean, they have that iconic, iconic image of her in the walk, that, uh, that you know, the yellow uh, walker thing. What is that? Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? When she fought the queen in Aliens, when Maybe? Sigourney Weaver... No, no, when Sigourney Weaver got into that yellow mech suit in, in Aliens. That was... I don't remember. Was that just like a hazmat suit? I don't know. No, that was like an exoskeleton. Yeah. That was like a constructed exoskeleton. Kind of thing. She was oh, in the. Oh, that. Okay. 
She was in the yellow suit or whatever, and she was fighting the called, queen. But I know what you're sort of talking about, I guess. You know, originally uh, there wasn't supposed to be an alien queen. Huh. I don't think it, I don't think it needed it. Really? Yeah. yeah originally it was supposed it. to be yeah. like the aliens, like literally think... consumed the bodies, and the bodies turned into eggs or something like that. I mean, I get oh, the whole well, idea because it's it's sort of like living off of like the bee dynamic of like everything being yeah. sort of like a yeah, queen exactly. and then like lays just... aliens of eggs. Like, oh. Yeah. Listen, I don't like I'm, the I'm concepts not... better. I'm not gonna lie, and I and I hate to say this, but like Ridley Scott's like 79. I don't know how the fuck he's gonna be able to make eight more Alien movies or even <laughs> no. like, like five more. Like I hate to say it, but like the guy's 80 years old. No, let's, wait, Something you... something's gonna happen. He's 79 years old. He's 79. Some... Damn. Yeah. Oh, I, like Do if I... he can, if he can make eight more Aliens movies that are pretty good. Like I like I will consider Ridley Scott like probably one of the best directors. Can we, can oh, yeah, we that'd put be this in perspective? He made The Martian at seventy eight years old. Wait, that's amazing. That's pretty freaking impressive. Yeah. 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 I mean, I mean, he I could, mean, I've never been he could have developed like the Stan Lee disorder, where now he just doesn't <laughs> die and just keeps on making things. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what <laughs> happens. Stan Lee, I'm a little concerned he's gonna stop doing these cameos. Stanley Scrooge McDucking into his into his pile of uh of gold bars. So you know what? <laughs> God bless him. God, honestly, he's gonna break his neck. He's gonna break yeah. his neck. But honestly, God bless him because uh, you know he's doing something right that I'm not doing. Are they gonna start just, doing CGI Stanley cameos? I'm more or less just like I, I like I've never be, made it like a secret that I'm not a fan of The Martian, but. Like, I, I do I, respect that he made it at such an old age. I, I like it. I don't like... Lo it's it's a little too long. It's a little too long. Yeah, it's uh, a little slow. How long it is it? Slow. Is it like more yeah, than like two and a half hours? Yeah. yeah, it's, half yeah hours. It's, it's a little... It's a little... What's that word? A uh, dumb as shit. It's kind of like dumb in some parts. I think parts. it treats the audience d dumb, but I don't think it's like necessarily like... Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, uh, Gravity was kind of dumb, you know? It yeah. never, it never grabbed my interest, those, like, like, Gravity, because at least, wars, at least, like, Gravity wasn't dumb. a good movie, but at least Gravity looked good in 3D. You know what? I gotta say, <laughs> that's what really matters, isn't it? I actually like Interstellar more than Gravity. I think Interstellar, I think, I think anyone likes Interstellar more than Gravity. Interstellar was really good. I don't think so. I don't know. Yeah. I think most people I like Gravity guys, more than Interstellar. I loved Interstellar. But guys, Ghost Clooney. <laughs> that was fucking so, maybe be then. I, I was with my father he almost walked out of the theater because we hated Sa we wanted Sandra to die and him to live but nope yes, yes. yeah yes. and then there was sort of like wait no he was a ghost all along psych bitch <laughs> you know Ed Harris was in that you know Ed Harris was in Gravity I love Ed Harris he's the, he's the, guy who's up, yeah. he's the voice of uh, he was Mission Control oh, oh okay good. Good I think the that credits when the cast was like six people. That was kind of the funniest part. I'm always part like, me. whenever I see those movies, I'm just like, I'm just like, hmm. <laughs> whatever. I saw Gravity one time, and I was like thinking, I'm like, instead of Ghost Clooney, he she should just be like haunted by all the black men she saved from football. <laughs> <laughs> one black guy. It's like three. <laughs> She's made that movie like eight times. I swear. Yeah. She's always like the powerful mother figure, and they're just like, oh look, I'm southern now. <laughs> like I hate it. Oh my God, Sandra Bullock. Yeah, like it's obvious, she used like to be especially, so good. Like, especially in Gravity, it's like it's obvious that George Clooney's the more likable person, and you're kind of like, <laughs> I'm so dumb with Sandra <laughs> Bullock's <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Well, we knew was the likable part. They killed him anyway. That's the hilarious part about the whole thing. I'm always angry when they're just like, because this happens all the time where they go, okay, there's two people. Um, we're gonna develop one of them really well and then kill him, and then that'll. <laughs> Force the other one to have some sort of development. Yeah, I hate that because it never works. Yeah. Uh, I think I we can talk about Blade Runner now. Blade no, Runner. I want to talk about it fucking, first. Fucking retire. Harrison Ford needs. Oh to uh, no! Come on, he's Yo, a national he's treasure. He's never gonna no, stop. He is not. He is not no. a national it, treasure. We just we need. What are you talking about? He's Han Solo. He's got he's a, a new he's one. A we a new run, one. The new it. national treasure. <laughs> I volunteered Jake Jones for that one. Nicholas Cage. Oh, sorry. Um. So let me talk about so let me talk about Blade Runner for a second. So Denis, oh. uh, okay, Denis Val gonna... Denis Villeneuve, I'm not really pronouncing his name right. He directed a 2016's Arrival, which was relatively good. I know Jack, uh, not funny, but like you know it it got some good praises. It made some money. You know, critically it was good. Financially it was good. No. In general, it's good. Um, he made Enemy, starring Jake Gyllenhaal and Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> um, <laughs> He made Sicario, which was a very underrated movie. Um, uh, I agree with. 
and he made Prisoners with Hugh Jackman and Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. Which, oh, right. Very oh, under. Yeah. And Paul Dano. I'm, I'm so I love Prisoners, but I'm so fucking angry at Enemy. I like Enemy. I don't hate. I don't love it, but I like it. I like enemy just because of the idea that there's just two Jake Joan Halls in a scene at the same time. <laughs> on the, like one on the main. Two Jake Joan Halls on a spider. So back to my original point. The director oh. is very good. So can we stop with that. And just talk about how Jake Joan Hall is good in Enemy. No. Uh, yeah, I mean he's good in Enemy. He's but, fine. Uh, the director. <laughs> The director's a very good director, it's what I mean. Um, he knows what he's doing, he knows how to film, you know, cinematography is always great in most of his mov- all of his movies. Um, so Blade Runner, Ryan Gosling, big star right now, my favorite actor. Um, okay. Um, it seems like they're going for, is Harrison Ford a replicant? Um, that's what I can gather from the plot. I don't get that, considering they kind of confirmed it in the last movie. Yeah, they did, but, like, I don't, I think, he's just playing Han Solo in this movie. He's like, I'm too old for this shit, which is fine. That's that's why he should retire. He just keeps playing the same role. It's the same thing with, like, Will Smith. Like, you don't see him, like, when when Will Smith plays a role, you see him as Will Smith. If Harrison Ford plays a role, you see him as Han Solo. No, see him as yes. Deckard. You see him as Indiana Jones and Han. No, no, I don't. No, no, I don't. I see him as I see him as Han Solo, and he has that problem now. I watch him, and I'm just like, the, out, only, yeah. the only movie I've ever seen him where he hasn't just been like, oh, that's the guy who played Indiana Jones. It's been <laughs> re- regarding Henry. That's literally it. What about the Fugitive? The Fugitive was good. Okay. Yeah. Um. So Blade Runner was when I that was excited when he about. But that was when he could do more than just be a grumpy old man. Yeah. Now he's yeah. now he's just I, that. Um, like a grumpy, grumpy old, old man. Huh? And then um, like whenever, whenever he whenever he phones in a really shit performance like he has in his past like eight movies, everyone's just like, oh, he's a national treasure. No, he's fucking not. He needs to be held to a goddamn standard. I that everyone says. I, I, gotta, I, I think I think Harrison Ford. I think Han Solo's death in Force Awakens was like. That was like his creative input. No, he wanted to, he wanted to die in Empire Strikes Back. He was like, I want to die now, but then George Lucas strung him along. My I'm man, just, George Lucas. I just yeah, George pissed Lucas. off whenever oh, I see him now because he's just he clearly doesn't give a shit. He doesn't. No, and obvious. sometimes that's good, but there's a there's a difference. Like, but that was that was sort of what, like Marlon Brando towards the end of his career. Like he just yeah, sort of stopped I also giving a he, shit. I, I also thought he was being a fucking dick. I'm not holding him to a better standard than Harrison Ford. When he was, was, like, when he was in Godfather, I know he's a dead, so like, shit. I knew he was a piece of shit during the filming of The Godfather. All right, so Jack, I know you think Blade Runner. I, I I think you told me this one time. You thought Blade Runner was like a perf like it's not your favorite movie, but you think it's a a perfect up there, yeah. Yeah. I love the first Blade Runner. I don't know if anybody Jack, did, did you see No, nah, Jack. Uh well, did you see Blade Runner, the original one? Uh I have actually not personally seen it yet. I've never been really interested in it. Really? It's yeah. it's it's one of the best sci-fi movies. I know guys. I know what it is and I know it, like it like it is one of the best sci-fi I've movies ever. It. I just I just personally haven't watched it yet. I love it. It's it's not in my top ten because I've only seen it recently. I never bothered to see it when I was younger, but I was like, "Damn, for its time, it's amazing," um, and it still holds th- up today. So I think, yeah, it does definitely. But the issue is that like they, I would have been. This is the one time where I probably would have been like happy with them getting someone else to do it. Like I don't care about authenticity at this point because Harrison Ford does not give a shit. Like, uh, but I think he, they're passing he, the baton on to Ryan Gosling. I think I, well, that's weird. That's not a. He's not the right person to do that either. Like they, what? they need someone who's as like the. Then who's the right person? I don't know, but it's not Ryan Gosling at least. At least at this moment, like it's not, I, it I kind of like, agree with that. Yeah. I, think, I mean, I Ryan think, Gosling is a star. He makes like three movies a year. Yeah. So I can no, see no, he's a great actor. From. He could probably do it, but I feel like it's going to be left empty, and it's almost like a, an actor who's like less well known could have the, the role a lot better. But they want to give it to a big actor because he's yeah. relevant. Yeah. All right, but well, I'm excited for it just because of the names involved. I'd say just, especially Denis Villeneuve and Ryan Gosling is mainly Denis Villeneuve. Like, it, that, that's kind of why I'm excited for it, mainly because of him. Um, yeah, I, I think it'll be fine, but I'll be disappointed no matter what happens. To be honest, with I'm gonna you. wait and see. I'm cautious. That's a movie where I'm cautiously optimistic for, but I, I, I'm excited for it generally. Yeah. Um, Justice League. 
Oh, okay. We're going to save it for last. All right. I guess uh, we're going to <laughs> Yeah, Justice League. Uh, Looks stupid still. Oh I, don't, I don't trust it. I don't no, trust I don't it. Trust you, no. I can't deal with it. I'm just like, why this is, is this existing? Yeah, this is this is what it's been leading up to. All these pre all two movies. All two movies. <laughs> it, and it still looks stupid. It still looks like I can't trust it. I think it's going to be bad. All but leading up to this, and it's just not going to pay off at all. Even if it was okay, the expectations were just... It's yeah. just way too much. I, I can't. Like, I just can't deal with it. Like, it's... I, it'll make money. They'll make a sequel. Yeah. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah. I, I don't think not, this is gonna be end, but I think this is gonna be, like, the big first step they're gonna take. I want a Martian Manhunter movie. All right, we, we haven't heard from Christian or Shannon lately, so what are your guys' opinion on it? I'm sorry, we kinda yelled. On, on which movie? Justice League. Oh, God, I with that ass. Oh, okay, I, uh... I, I, I literally... I have... I have absolutely no like. This is one of the few trailers coming out where I literally have no fucking opinion. Right. I, I'm I, just I sort of like, just, that's cool. That's yeah, fine. I have no interest. <laughs> that's pretty much it. I have zero interest. <laughs> it in it like, literally yeah, has not right. caught my attention in the slightest. I'm like, it's probably gonna well, be eh. like. I, I'm a DC like, fan, so I'm somewhat oh, excited for the. I mean, I, this, I mean, I am too, but like, it's gonna be eh. Like I can tell already, it's gonna be all right at best. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I kind of like agree. I have a huge pet peeve about all the DC movies that have been recently coming out. They're I think good. everyone has a huge no, no, pet like, peeve about all the DC movies no, coming yeah, out. They're, yeah, just pretty like, much. they're just like, hey, they're like, hey, you know, like, we're not very stylized. Like, you know, we're going to make them darker, obviously. But you know what we need to do to make them all seem like they link? And everyone's like, what? And he's like, well, tint them slightly blue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, that's yeah. the good thing about yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah. 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 Every yeah. single yeah. one of the movies, it's like blue. There's no white. There's just whitish blue. I mean, granted, Spider-Man's cost lighter than the whole movie. Yeah, <sighs> no, I mean, granted, Marvel doesn't really have, like, a lot of style going on, especially with color. They all just kind of look the same and just kind of look... No, actually, actually, about that, Guardians of the Galaxy is a really big thing on red. Yeah, no. Yeah, no that's the only thing I noticed. That's the only thing I, I noticed. I noticed that, yeah. I think if... Just... if it... Why? Like, I don't the know. blue, like, it's ugly after a bit. Yeah. <laughs> And, and after you use it, like, five times in a row in the same movie, it's just... It's just annoying. It hurts your eyes to look at. I'm hoping that Wonder Woman changes it at least a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. It's not. It's not gonna change. I think the only time it's gonna change is in Theramascara, and I don't even think the movie's gonna stay there long. If they, get, in, if they get on um, the Amazonian island, maybe it'll be okay. They had the Amazonian island in the Wonder Woman trailer. It looked yeah, exactly like the 70s TV show, and I was laughing hysterically. It's kind of fun. No, I know as soon as they leave that island, it's just welcome to slightly tinted blue land. Population very fucking hurt eyes or something. <laughs> it's almost like it's almost like they asked like they're like just like oh what do we could we do and then Henry Cavill's like I think blue is my color and they were like okay and they just threw it on there and they were like oh the DC logo is blue that'll do it. <laughs> Honestly, uh, yeah. All you have to do is just sigh and just pray that maybe. The Not Justice really. League, the yeah. American heroes, Wonder Woman and Superman, you know, maybe not dark. I don't know. Like, <laughs> somehow Arkham City <laughs> has more comedy in that whole... In, the video game Arkham City, which is supposed to be dramatic, had more comedy in the than the Justice League trailer. Oh, God. You're right. Yeah. Oh, no. I, also, like, I, I want... I really, really want a Martian Manhunter movie. <laughs> I would love to see that. Mar I feel like Martian Manhunter is kind of underappreciated in DC. I feel like he doesn't get enough spotlight. I think I feel for like the most part, I feel I just... like... Sorry, go ahead. I, I think for the most part, I've just sort of phased out of DC. Like, I've stopped caring yeah. about anything that they're doing whatsoever. I, it, it, I, I don't know, like... I, for a bit. I, I was like that too, but now, I'm, I, I don't know, like, movie after movie after movie, I'm not seeing anything different. Whereas still... Marvel... Whereas Marvel, I mean... They, they, they sort of did the same thing, but then, like, once in a while, they, at least they have, like, something that's new. Yeah. Like, Logan. Like, Logan was, like, like was new, and it was interesting, and I enjoyed it. With DC, it's, like, it, it, it's not it's all the same. Like, nothing is changing. Like, whenever, they, whenever we'd have, like, arguments about what company has the better heroes, I would always argue DC because they're more complex. They had more, like, story to them while Marvel... Well, Mar Marvel. While but Marvel... If you, if you can't flesh them out in the movies, then what's the point? Yeah, there's no point in having, like, these interesting characters if they're not interesting. And, yeah. like, they don't know how to make a decent story. 
that satisfies that urge. Marvel has sort of figured out how to please its fans. Yeah, absolutely. And it, and it seems to be something somewhat universal. So it's been working out for them. Like everyone, a lot of people were saying Civil War was one of the best movies of last it year. It wasn't. No, it wasn't. Yeah, no, it wasn't. <laughs> like, uh, I, I, okay, not. obviously, like everyone has their own opinion, but like a good majority of people were like, no, it was a really good movie, and I thought it was, it was okay. It was probably the best superhero movie really that came good. out of 2016. Yeah. I'd say probably. it's probably one of the best. Yeah, no, no, hold on. What was the X-Men movie that came yeah, out also? Was that I mean, what other superhero movies came out last year? Batman because or Superman? I think, I think no, what no, happened no. is they were like, they were like, they were like, hey, they were like, Suicide oh. Squad? They were like, oh. Civil <laughs> War was amazing. What does DC have to, or have to, like, fight this flame? And they were like, oh, it's Batman or Dope Man. <laughs> They're just hiding in the corner, hiding behind, like, their um, Suicide um, Squad. Don't don't you remember the Oscar winning film Suicide Squad? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Alright, let's go on. Thank you. If you oh, fuck in the most general statement, you could say Marvel beat DC last year, and then DC could just go like, no, they didn't. We have an Oscar. They don't. <laughs> I think that, the, the, thing that, is that the, the, the whole reason that Suicide Squad is seen as better than Batman vs. Superman is because you, like Harley Quinn. It's not, in my opinion, though. I like Batman. I, I don't think better. it is either, but it's but it's it's Harley Quinn and the Joker. They're so like hipster looking that everyone likes them. It's ridiculous. But it's so dumb. <laughs> because everyone's going like, "Oh, they're just regular people." That's they're superheroes. They shouldn't be regular people. All right, man. All right, can we talk oh, about? Oh God, did you really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Oy vey. Oy vey. Since I've been, since you haven't talked about it for the last two times, even though uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna let Weldon rant about it for a second. Yeah, you can go on about it. Go about ahead. It. I actually haven't it. seen the trailer yet. I don't, I don't know how to feel about it. I, I never was a huge fan of the original it, and I, I I'm a little excited for this one. But there were some things that turned me off, like the thing with the projector and like all the images. I mean, they were like, yeah, they like just one thing I wanted to point out. I was like, make it stop when it was going crazy. I'm like. You know you could just put your hand in front of the projector and stop all the images from showing up, right? <laughs> yeah, that's how light works, really. <laughs> and also, I like, I kind of like the design of the clown a little bit. It's like a little off-putting, but also I like it at the same time. Like, the last scene when he's running out of the water looks fucking stupid, but I, overall I like his design. I only have one problem with it, with it and it actually is the design. Really? I never yeah, 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 I'll let you finish, though, because you, you seem to have more to get. Yeah, I thought it was okay. I mean, I like the original design of the It because it's just kind of like, it's a clown, but also he has scary fucking teeth. And I like the simplicity of it and how people are just naturally afraid of clowns and you don't have to do much. But in this, it seems they try to make it a little bit more scary and more than just a clown, which I appreciate. But at the same time, I kind of like the simple design more. Um, when the kid bashed his head on the sign, I almost freaked out. That was the scariest part in the trailer for me. That was just stupid. I laughed at that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Also, I feel like this might be a more faithful ap- adaptation of the book more than the original movie. I mean, the original movie was like a like it was Four somewhat, hours. yeah, and it was somewhat. But I feel like this might be like the equivalent of like the television special of The Shining instead of Stanley Kubrick's. It's gonna suck more than the original, but it's still fine on its own merits. Yeah, but the original wasn't even that great to begin with, though. Excuse me, what? Why is it no, so right mean? Um, it was oh, good. It had good moments, they but flows. the middle was kind of eh. I don't, what the fuck? What? What? I, uh, it wasn't a very good movie. It's a four-hour really? movie. Uh, yeah, well, the movie. Sleeping. It's definitely it, it's a cult classic. Like it's not great, but I mean, no one no one can truly Fine. say they're like, oh, I hate it so much. It's such a shitty movie. I just don't but, love it. They're gonna see it. Everyone's gonna see yeah. it. Yeah. Like, like honestly. It's great. I, I, my main problem is the design because the point of it is the point of it. Like, cause like me and my friend would often like, we, we love Stephen King, but we love shitting on him even more. So like the whole point of it, if you read the book is that he's just a clown, he's not a scary clown. He's a clown. You made him a scary clown. Now he's now people are going to be afraid of him as well. Like it's dumb because he's the. I think you're looking too deep into it. No, because the entire point of the clown is that he's the epitome of fear, 
And that's the whole thing. The creature at the end, he doesn't turn into Satan. He's the epitome of fear. And for He's some reason, it's a spider, a spider for some yeah, reason. No, I think, in the, I think in the original spiders. book, he could... I think in the original book, he could morph into your fears. That's why you see the claws of the trailer, because he yeah. taps into like, primal fears, right? But why like, is his main where... form an actually scary clown? It should just be a regular clown. Wait, 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 Weldon. Well yeah. Weldon, well yeah. you said he turns into primal fear, right? Oh, shut up. He's going to turn it to Edward Norton. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, well, with that, we go on to our next segment. No, um... I'm not done! <laughs> Stop moving on keep before going, we're done! Keep going. I'm sorry. Oh I, I, I literally could not resist. I'm just, like, it's... Why are they doing that? I just, like, it's, I'm looking at it, and it's like, oh, you're reading too deep into it. It's a Stephen King book. There's the point, the main point, that why it's fun is that you look into it, because the story themselves are pretty fucking thin. Like, you're supposed to look into them and do shit with them. And they're, I'm, I'm okay. There's no such thing as a faithful Stephen King adaptation. You gotta yeah. change shit, because it's too stupid sometimes. Yeah, like, I mean, and, 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 and the thing is, you can't even have, like, Stephen King come on as a director, because he... They were like, they were like yeah. hey, because Stephen King was like, come on, guys, I can do good. I can be a good director. And they're like, okay, Stephen. And then he like, made remember- Maximum Overdrive. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then there was also um he made he hated the way that Stanley Kubrick made The Shining, so he it's made his made own, and it was serious. significantly worse. Even though I, I mean, somewhat it was terrible, agree but like, with why he wanted to remake it, because he because didn't think it was, was he didn't think it was a faithful adaptation, so he remade yeah, I, it himself, and it was just bad. Like, like like wanting to remake it because of that, I I I agree with him going Jack is completely wrong. Yeah, no, I yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah but now, book, but now Jack Nicholson like, is a classic character, so yeah, that's the issue. Yeah. It's that Jack Nicholson made that role his own, and that's fine. But to well, Stephen yeah, no, King, he's like, I made a good book. character, and he fucked it up and made a different character. I think I think Stanley Q, uh, not Stanley, I think Stephen King was just jealous about how good Stanley Kubrick did. And he's like, I could make it just as well, and then he made that, and nobody liked it. I think it was just jealousy. I just can't hate Stephen King because he's the reason that Evil Dead got made. Yeah. Like uh, so, Steve- I I can't hate him that much, but it, he weird. does do annoying shit every once in a while, and his 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 books are so fucking. Also, stupid. there can <laughs> there can be like faithful adaptations. Like I own misery. Um, I own mis. Yeah, I was about to say like I own misery the book, and I love misery the movie, and it's they're both like very similar. Like there's very few changes, so it's it's not like it can't be. There can't be a faithful Stephen King adaptation. It's just no, yeah, certain they're- novels that there just has to be elements yeah. that need to be changed. That's just how it works when adapting yeah. books to movies. But, like, there's... What I mean like, by saying there's no faithful Stephen King adaptation is, like, you're never going to be able to satisfy Stephen King because he thinks the dumb shit is necessary. Because yeah, he, he, like, you. looks at it and you read Misery and there's, like, parts where he's, like, just thinking about how his toes are trapped. <laughs> and he's, like... And then, like, he'll comment on, like, why wasn't Jack thinking... What? Sorry, I forget the, na- the name of... I'm going to call him, um... James Kahn in this case. Yeah, James Kahn, right? He's like, why wasn't James Kahn thinking about how his feet are trapped? And everyone's going to go, because that's stupid, Steven. And he's like, <laughs> what's the point of the story? He's trapped like his feet. Like, he's just an idiot sometimes because it yeah. doesn't translate well. His books, books can be translated very well into film, but like, you can't get everything. And Stephen King thinks you need to get everything. Yeah, that's why he was like, "I need to make a mini series of The Shining in order to get it all." It wasn't bad. It's just compared it's to that, it was just stupid sometimes. Yeah, and it, and it, and it couldn't compare to you know Stanley Kubrick's, but whatever. Yeah, it's hard to compare to Stanley. I'm, prob- I'm, I'm probably gonna go see it. I'm like reserved expect, like reserved excite. That's that's what I'd say. Oh, I'm gonna go into it thinking it's gonna be bad, and then I'm gonna hopefully be pleasantly surprised. Uh, I did that with yeah. the movie we saw tonight, and yeah. it didn't really work out. So, no, oh, is that, that is that a transition? I see. No, it's not. We it's not. Talk about the best movie coming out. In a oh movie yeah, movie. I almost forgot about uh, that. Jack. Captain Underpants. Yes, oh, I love my that movie. God. <laughs> I am so excited. Okay, it's like, it's like uh, can I just too late. can I list <laughs> one small aspect that I don't that surprisingly didn't bother me about what? when I when I watched the trailer? Yes, it's very obvious that George and Harold are voiced by adults. Yeah, it's. It, yeah. It, it, I think I know. I know it was. It's on purpose. I'm pretty sure it's on purpose. 
Yeah. But I, I don't it, know how to It's kind of jarring when Ed Helm the sound is adult. And Kevin, and Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Honestly, not, Kevin Hart. 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 Couldn't even try to get like adolescent actors. Like you had to go and with Kevin Hart. Even though Kevin Hart, Ke- like, like the two kids aren't even like the funniest characters. Like it's supposed to revolve around Ed Helms, who is a really funny person. But why, like Kevin Hart, really has no place here, like it at is, all. I think Kevin Hart has no place in cinema. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he is fucking awful. Oh, yeah, this is ride right. along, ride like, along. Oh, wait, you, no, no, no. Okay, wait, like. Is that- shitty voice where he's saying like, ah, nah, 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 like that like that's how he ends every yeah. sentence like I've it starts this, like i've said this before and it like comes off as wrong but i still believe it i don't like comedians who their biggest joke is about themselves sort of like like yeah, in this case it's literally he's like i'm black funny haha <laughs> yeah. like that's it and then everyone's just like oh he's black and he's short yeah. give him an oscar like what <laughs> like Oof. it's there are certain times where I'm just like, he's genuinely, like, when you watch him, like, like giving interviews and stuff, he's a genuinely funny person. But his stand-up is just obnoxious and he shouldn't be acting. Like, there's no reason for him to be... I don't like when people take comedians and they go, oh, they're actors too. Like, they're yeah, not. They're different. really stupid. Yeah, like, that's why, like, it, it like you see George out. Carlin, he Ever. barely did any, like, film roles. He did a few, obviously. He was in Tarzan, I believe. Yeah, oh, yeah. What, a, what a film. No, George, what a... George Jungle, one of those two. But, like, that was, like, it wasn't very good, but it was fine. Like, I loved you know. George in the Jungle when I was a kid. <laughs> who is it? Okay. Brendan Fraser? Is that who played yeah. it? I don't yeah, know. It's a like... fucking stupid oh, movie. Oh, it was dumb, dumb, but I, like, oh, I, I turned Frazier. my brain off and I enjoyed it. Yeah, I was, like, six. I fucking loved it. But, um, yeah. if, if, if Captain Underpants, do, like, does financially well, I hope they remake, like, the other books. Well, yeah, it's I'm, called I'm, the first movie, so I'm I'm going to oh the first. I'm I'm, I'm praying. I know, but like, what about but what about, but what about like, Doug like Doug's first movie, and they only made one. See, the difference is that <laughs> that uh, that's, that Doug. <laughs> the Doug. Doug, they're just like. No, this better like, make money, or else it's gonna be really weird. It's gonna be Doug. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, Captain Underpants is gonna make a lot of money because I'm hoping it's not only. I don't think it, so. Oh, yes, I think it's all. It, it's. I think. I hope it's a mix of like people who grew up with the books and then children, because this does like appeal like to little yeah. kids and like yeah, a like, general movie going audience. I so I think, it, I think it'll in, make like, money. What I consider my golden age. So <laughs> I'm very happy with that. I uh, just think it'll turn out like that Goosebumps when movie, I read honestly. Captain Underpants. No, it's I gonna... was laughing because it's just so dumb. I love it. <laughs> no, Jacob, with the Goosebumps movie, there's too much production value in Captain Underpants as of now. For it to go completely unnoticed, like the yeah, but isn't it did. like nine years too late? I, no, I don't no, know. Not. Maybe, I don't think it's nine years. I think it's the perfect timing because all the people who probably read the Captain Underpants book are now grown up and they, and they see this and they're like, "Oh my god, I remember that as a kid." Like that was my first reaction to, which is, "Oh yeah. my fucking god!" Like, instance, about like, fucking time with this crap. Like, there's never like the case of like it's like. Like what was it? Uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid came out at like the height of its popularity. Yeah. And it was, and then, and now there's five of them. Yeah, which or is something. Not and they were Roger. all terrible. They never got better. But oh, do you I remember that like one? This one has Yo, hashtag this not one. my Roger. Hashtag not my Roger. Shit, so stupid. Like the guy looks so a little dumb. feminine. Whatever. Like seriously. Oh, the guy in the movie theater before we saw Ghost in the Shell just yells out, "Not my Roderick." Oh, no, he said not oh, my yeah. Roger. He didn't say Roger. He said Roger. <laughs> oh, okay. I remember, what was that moment when, like, oh, shit, what was, oh, right, when we were watching the, the Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, the Caribbean trailer, and, um, like, both, like, me and the kid across the room both at the same time went, is that Javier Bardem? <laughs> we were, like, so confused for a second. Is that the, mo- is that how his career is gonna end now? I hope it doesn't. I hope not. Like, like I hope this isn't, like, a actor. sign of where he's gonna go from now on in these, like, shitty fucking movies that don't need to exist. Ugh. If like, one thing I say is impressive, I told you this in the movie theater, it's how Johnny Depp looks exactly the fucking same throughout all these movies and doesn't look like he's aged a day. I don't know how he did it. How, how old is Johnny Depp? I don't uh, know. 40, does... I think he's like 48 or something. He's, oh, he's, wow. close he's, to definitely, he's definitely younger than I thought. He's close uh, to 50. Let's see. Yeah, but he does not oh. age. It's very strange. He's, uh... Him. I don't know what he does. Shit. I liked him in Black Mass, honestly. He's um. It could also be the. Oh makeup. wow, he's fifty-three. He, like, he would... Oh 50. really? Wow. Yeah. He's not eight. Fucking Good hell. Good for Johnny, honestly. 
Yeah. Grindelwald. What was it? Um. Okay, but like, okay, I'm just gonna say it quick because we don't need to hark on it. But it, it's important that Baby Driver does okay. Okay, great. Not now because, we're gonna go on to Ghost in the not, Shell. It, not, not be, it doesn't even have to be a good movie. It's just we need Edgar Wright to come back. No, no, no not even that. We need original ideas. That's I true. Want, yeah. Like, please, I'm tired of sequels. Sure, they're gonna be okay. There'll be there'll be okay movies. We need more original ideas, or we're gonna run out of shit, and everyone's gonna get really angry. That's why we, I we, like. We need to keep like Edgar Swiss Wright Army like having okay. work. Like we need to keep on giving Edgar Wright something to do. I probably just get just to give money to Edgar Wright because I fucking love him as a director. So I love like, just... him. He'll I'll find pay a him way to write my obituary. Like it's fine. <laughs> He's gonna find a way to throw Nick Frost into it or something. Yeah. <laughs> I, hope, I hope that's just an I hope that's just an occurring trend with him in that every movie just Nick Frost or Simon Pegg just shows throw, up. Throw, Chris, throw, wait, we didn't put our we didn't put our mandatory um our Nick Frost reference in there. Yeah. And he's like, just like just oh, you're right. Movie. It turns into like a Stan Lee cameo almost, except it's for Edgar Wright movies. <sighs> I take it. Like yeah. honestly, it's like. It's important that at least some original idea does well this this yeah. year, like because it's either a biopic or like another sequel yeah. or a remake. It's just I'm sick of it. We need something new. Split. That's why Swiss Army Man was cool. Oh, I, I wanted to see. I wanted to see that. Yeah, but, yeah but now, but now we've all learned that Split is basically the sequel to Unbreakable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, Fuck it, yeah. It ruined itself by doing that. And that's terrible. Whatever. I liked it. <laughs> like. I honestly, I'm looking back on it, and I really can't think of, like, any huge original movies that came out so get far this out. year. Just, get out. Get out. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh so get out. Like, it words cannot describe how upset I am that I did not get to see Get Out, I but I, I will. Yeah, so I want to get to on DVD. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. It was amazing. Well, I'm, I'm sure. gonna, like, like, honestly, I'm, I'm very happy that Get Out is doing well. Yeah, I actually, that's, I was it, surprised. It something. Yeah. Also, it's weird. I, I think I brought this up last time, but I'm still gonna say it anyway because it's like so strange. Like I don't, I didn't even think about this. It's like, it was like that that um that statistic that was like, um Get Out is the first movie to break a hundred million dollars or a billion dollars. No, it's a hundred million. Hundred million dollars on a on a black writer and director. And on only a ten million dollar budget. Right. That doesn't make yes. any sense in my head. I'm like, really? This is the first one? Yeah. Right. Like, really? Yeah. That makes no sense. Yeah. Like, but like Honestly, I, was, I, was, I like, thought Shane like, by Lightning McQueen would have. Would have done really well. <laughs> I thought like uh, I, yeah, I thought Twelve Years a Slave was was the one that did it, and then I was like, oh wait, he didn't write it. Mm. I don't know. Oh, if oh that's why. It's so. If you would have told me like two years ago that Jordan Peele was going to be the first <laughs> one to be able to do that, I would have been like, really? You kidding me? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, what, he's the last person that I'd expect to actually pull that off. But you know, the not hey, the I'm, not I'm okay as memorable it. guy from Key and Peele. Yeah, exactly. Uh. All, All right, right, Jacob. Can, yeah, Jacob, time to shine. Do that. Tra do that transition you did earlier about talking about Ghost in the Shell. <laughs> um, I don't <laughs> have a transition. Hey, we're talking about Ghost in the this Shell. Now. All right, Ghost in the Shell. Jacob, yeah, forgot. We, saw, we saw Ghost in the Shell today. It was kind of pretty bad. Uh, yeah, ever, like ever, ever, yeah, yeah. Didn't uh, like it. No, uh, yeah. not memorable. Okay, uh, not okay, wait, charismatic. I think, I think that's the person. Probably go around. Go around the table. All right. Can I, can I, may I go first? Yeah, Shane, yeah, get out first. All right. Like, um, like yeah, I like anime, and I also like anime <laughs> movies, and I also like Ghost in the Shell. So weird. when I went to go see it, I was, pr I had expectations, and that's my that was my first issue. Um, it had really good action. I, me and Jack both really, really liked how they designed the city and everything. It, it looked, it looks great and it definitely looks like what i'd want out of an american adaptation of ghost in the shell i like the relationship between bato and matoko i thought that was really nice and it definitely gave me a lot of vibes from the movies but oh god a lot of the dialogue really was yeah. very 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 cringy and i know a lot of you guys are gonna say this because we all agreed about it earlier but in the, in the in the Japanese movies, it was subtle. Oh, okay. But you understood. Yeah, like every, but like yeah, everyone hit you over the head with it. Yeah, it, it definitely kind of smacks you with, "Hey, we're people, but are we really people?" I, uh, no. <laughs> I mean, it's the whole theme of melting technology there, and humans. There, oh, like the dialogue just bothered me a lot. Like a lot of it was either very very forced, 
and and very uncomfortable. And I'm not even talking about like just like Matoko's like dialogue. I'm talking about like everyone's dialogue. Yeah, I actually just... forgive his. Oh no, I'm, I'm sorry. I thought you were saying um, Kens- Kensu or whatever the fuck his name is. Can we just refer to them by their actors because I don't remember a single fucking name in that okay, movie. Okay, go ahead. Like... Tell me the actor besides Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fucking Carter. Fuck his name. What's his name? Carter. Oh, wrong already. That's not no. the actor. <laughs> No, whatever the fuck his name is. Fuck! Aaron Carter! Aaron, no, Carter. That's Aaron Carter is. came out of the blue. <laughs> <laughs> and he started beating up shit, Q. You know, Alright, can I say my opinions on it? I want to get him out of my mouth. Go ahead. Oh yeah, I give it 4 out of 10. Probably would watch to make fun of it again. So, Ghost in the Shell. Okay, so, as you'll see soon in my top 10 list, I'm like a classic movie guy. I like my charismatic heroes. I like my... Um, movies to be fast paced. Um, yeah, this movie had none of that. Um, <laughs> the dialogue was terrible. None of the action scenes were memorable. I thought, you know, when he, his head fell into the soup bowl, that reminded me of Tale of Despero when the mother fell into the soup bowl. And I was like, okay. Um, too long. Uh, the sound, everything was just so forgettable. I, I generally, and okay. What this movie's supposed to do is make me want to like anime. You know, it's supposed to want me get into. It, it's supposed to want. Me, it's supposed to be want me to get into anime. I'm not in anime right now. I don't really like it. And um, yeah, I just came less interested in. But even before I came out, um, I give it a. If I liked the student, I would give him a three out of ten. But in my <laughs> heart, I would give him a two out of ten because. I just didn't like it. Um, and that's sc- kind of sad just because like a lot of anime adaptations that are coming out are just not good. Were they ever? I, I, like, they're, they're, just not, they're just not, I, I they're wanna, not good. It's I very go hard last, to adapt. I'm doing like an overarching ever, statement, so I want, I want Jay Brown, uh, not, not Jay Brown, I'm sorry. I want, uh, I want Walt. Alright, so I'll go. Um, <laughs> honest, all flesh and no substance. I think that's one of the best ways to describe Ghost in the Shell for me. I love the design of the city. I'm I'm on board with Shen and Jack on that. I just I loved it. Like it like if one of the things that hooked me into the world, even though it really didn't like did it really fast, it was it was the design of the city, the holograms. I love that. I ate that up. I I I really enjoyed the design. I thought it was really cool and creative. Everything else fucking sucked though. The action scenes the only good one that I liked was the spider tank one, even though I still had a problem with that, like, there was a part where the spider tank used the missile because it lost its ability to see, and I'm like, okay, why didn't you just do that right in the fucking beginning? Like, that, like, it didn't need to charge or anything, it's like the, the fucking sword from Pacific Rim or some shit. Anyway, I thought there was... (laughs) I thought there was... I thought there was some things, like, I didn't personally like the action seats, I mean, I've just came, like, you know, right out, like, right off of watching Logan, the last movie I saw, and, like, compared to the action scenes in there, it's, like, it's not even the fucking same ballpark. Like, yeah. one's at home watching TV, the other one's playing the fucking game, for me, really. And, like, I felt there were some things they could do better. Like, all I thought of, like, action scenes, slow motion, running on wall, shooting, cutting, that's all I could see. And not cutting, like, cutting people, like, lots of cuts and lots of shots and lots of shots being broken up. Like, there were some parts where I felt like, Almost every punch that landed was like, punch here, cut, punch, cut, punch, cut, punch, cut, like, just like that. Like, I just, it felt sloppy to me, and I felt like they should have done more things with, like, technology. This is, like, the future. I feel like they could have done more with that. I think the only scene that ever actually tried to do that was, like, the scene where she was invisible for the entire time, and she was just (laughs) beating some guy. Yeah, but that reminded me... That reminded me of when Patrick was beating himself up in, in, in front of the Salty Splatoon. That's what that reminded me of. Okay. Fair enough, honestly. I think my favorite action scene, actually, was um, when she was, like, uh, chained to the stripper pole. Oh, and she so- started running around on the walls, like, kicking the guys in the face. I thought that was the most visually interesting, just because it takes yeah, advantage one of the surroundings. Yeah, contained room. Very stunning. Oh, I thought the one, one action like scene, which I don't even call action scene, which I thought had, like... Which I thought was like had the potential to be the best was the she uh, was the scene when she was walking through the tunnel and the guys with tasers came out and you couldn't see anything but the lights on the tasers. So I was like, oh shit, that could be a really cool action scene where like you couldn't you really see anything. Can- yeah, but you could see the lights of the tasers swing around and stuff and switch hands. I was like, oh, that could be cool. And then it's like, no, she gets her ass kicked and there's a bunch of jump cuts and I didn't like it. 
And like that scene in the club was like started off stupid. She's like, I'm not programmed to dance though, and then she started <laughs> picking them up. Like that's like another problem with the dialogue, and it was just really boring. You could see stuff coming from a mile away. I'd watch it ironically to make fun of it. I'd like give it a three out of ten, like below average. I'm not disappointed because I really didn't have expectations, but ugh, it, it's a it's it's poopy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, basically, uh, I'm gonna start with the negatives because there's a lot, and then I'm gonna go into positives <laughs> because I genuinely do think we should give this movie at least a little bit more of a chance. No, I don't. Yeah, I didn't ask you. Um, <laughs> Ooh, so <get> I've <laughs> given it a lot of a chance. I gave this, I gave it, I'm still giving it a chance because I think there's a possibility, and I think the issue is that I'll get to it later. So the the. the Bad things. First of all, dialogue. It's awful. I agree with you. It's just so bad. It's like, forgive the pun, but it's very robotic. Like, nobody... Uh, they, they, it, it's it's definitely a movie where they didn't know what to do. It's, it's like clear, a shell, basically. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. So <laughs> it's... But it's basically like... It, it's clearly a movie of... The only reason the dialogue exists is because we need to get the plot going. Like, that's it. There's no. They're not trying to throw anything else at you. They're like... They're doing the very like, like people walk in, they go plot, 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 and then they leave. Like that's I mean, the entire yeah, thing. Yeah, there's no depth. Jack, it could have been that, or it could have been like, uh, oh fuck it, I forgot the name. Fuck it, I'm out. Like it's not <laughs> subtle okay. whatsoever with its message, and it was obviously the, the anime wasn't much more subtle, but it was more subtle than this. It was like they just kept hammering. Also, really quick nit- nitpick that just really annoyed me. They kept. In the fucking anime, they never... And I, I think they mention it once. They mention that it's called a shell, what she's in, and they just keep they saying, it like it's your soul, times. your ghost, your ghost, your ghost's in that shell. I'm like, yeah, I get it. That's the, Look, look at you, Scarlet. You fucking figured out what the fuck the title is. Like, it's... it's <laughs> dude, that was stupid. That was really stupid. But, the, I, but like... Yeah, like, the the villain is very predictable. The entire movie is very predictable. You can kind of figure out where everything's going. None of the dialogue is any subtle. But there are some elements that can, like, fish out some kind of decent movie. There's, like, there are elements that you could find that could make this a decent movie with better writing. Because, yeah, I mean, the, 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 you know, the fucking... I like, was thinking if Nicholas Winding Refn directed this, this would be really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I well, like no. a lot of the characters. Like I like Bato. They're all I, memorable I, characters. I genuinely just love the cardboard like, pieces. It's sort of like there's there's honestly like there's Holy only shit. like four Savage. there's only like four or five like like there's three. Um, I, I only remember three. And there's the old no, uh, there's the, real, the guy that <laughs> looks like the, Jack Black. The very old the old <laughs> man. The Heihachi looking motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. His name was. Let's be real. We all love him. eyes. They, they never said it. His name was like Uzumi or something. I mean, Jack, going back to your point where all the dialogue was forced and they didn't know what to do with it, would you rather have that or would you rather have it like uh, the movie I was trying to figure out, God Only Forgives, where everyone just stares at each other and the plot just kind of moves by itself? I think, I think, I think, Makoto should, I, I think Makoko shouldn't have talked throughout the entire movie. And that would have been Because <laughs> I don't Is that the guy who speaks hear... Japanese? I honestly don't need No, it's, the, it's, oh, it's yeah. Charlotte Johansson. It's no, major. I'll her, I'll, I'll, sorry, I'll call her major. Sorry. Yeah, so, that I can remember major that. Didn't, if major didn't talk, it'd be better. At least a little bit. Just I because think, it's better to watch her react to shit than it is for her to try to make shit happen. I think what happened was the director was like, "Okay, Scarlett Johansson, you remember that one good movie you were like that one really good movie you were in, uh, Under the Skin? Yeah, just do that. All right, we'll be good." There and that was, really- that was what they did. There were tiny oh, nitpicks that I had that were, like, really important for some reason that I remember. Like, when she was in the hacking sequence, for some reason there was wind blowing, and I didn't get that. I didn't like, even notice that. You were paying, yeah, I was not true. paying enough attention. <laughs> yeah. I was, but, like, but, like, I think the issue that we're, like, first of all, okay, I'll do the positives real fast. But there's, it looks gorgeous. It's absolutely yeah. a gorgeous movie. The CGI is so well done. She looks great in the movie. I like her makeup where it look where she, her she's like usually in movies I hate when like no character has a single blemish on their face. In this case it makes sense. Um even the little elements of like the the like the the civilians like it's kind of really cool in some of them. Like for instance um kind of remember me of um Runner. 
do you remember like when you watch um all the like when you get the big close-ups of the characters faces like in the movie like just the background people they all have unique looks like some yeah. of them, like some like anti like I like how a lot of the Asian the Asian men who work at like the clubs they have Yakuza tattoos. That's really cool, like a cool idea. <laughs> Didn't notice that like, either. <laughs> that's fair like, enough. Yeah. I don't even know what they look like honestly. And then, like that's a really cool idea. They all look the then, same. Can I mention? Can I, I mention um my favorite scene in this movie that I know a lot of you guys laughed at, but I actually really liked it. What do you call it? The bowl of soup. What no no stop. <laughs> But she basically picked up the woman off of the street and then brought her back and then just started like touching each other. Oh god. I, I understand I, it, but I didn't like it. I thought it was I weird. I really I actually thought it was out of left field, honestly. I really liked it because I felt like if it just kind of did things like that. Oh wait, wait, just... wait, 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 can I just comment on one thing? I don't really like this movie that much, but can I just comment on like oh, one really? thing? Oh really? I didn't know. I think I think um... we figured that out. <laughs> The city doesn't make sense. Some people speak Japanese, some people speak English. Some things are written in Japanese, some things are written in English. The police on the back of them say police, but other companies are written in English, but other companies are I written in Japanese. I was going to comment on that. I don't understand I, the city. I think it's for diversity, State. I, okay. I mean, that would be a cool little... I think that would I think that would be a cool subplot where Japan is slowly being, like, getting taken over almost by, like, other cultures. Shannon, I promise I'll let, I'll let you finish just because I'm fucking pissed off and he keeps mentioning this. It's it's deep into the future. Tokyo is like a mecca. It's like New York City. There's no... There's no obviously, it's like... It's very clearly... It's trying to be like the new New York sort of thing where there's not an entirely like... The, like like no exact population rules so in this case obviously it's mostly japanese because it started that way but there are enough people to where a lot of people speak english and it's just sort of americanized at that yeah. point and I, I whitewashing like it's I whitewashing like weldon, weldon said oh man the future can't really figure out self-driving cars now can they oh yeah, yeah. But, um, the car kind of looks like a delorean too i just kind of like how before. they took elements from akira too yeah, no, with, with the car, like, and the motorcycle, I was like, yeah, no, th there's that, a that lot of... That had a Honda uh, product placement, and I feel bad about that now. I don't feel good about it. Yeah. You could see it said Honda all over, and I was like, oh, yeah, all right, there you go. There it is, I guess. All right, I'm sorry, I apologize, Sean, I want to hear your point. Yeah, no, I mean, I really, really like that scene, because I feel like if there was more... Because here's the thing, it came around halfway through the movie, where we were basically beaten <laughs> with the overall theme, but I feel yeah. like... If we had little scenes like those instead of having it beaten in, I think it would have been fine. Because I liked how, like, the girl, like, she had, like, blemishes on her face. She had, like, all the freckles. And I, I really, really liked the scene just because I was like, oh, if it showed messages like that where it's like, oh, this is humans and they have flaws, but it's okay. And there's robots who are so polished and so perfect. And if it I sort of just had little scenes like that, I feel like... I wouldn't have been annoyed with how, like, beaten to fucking death the whole message was. That's if it was, like, and, and I'm not saying the scene was, like, incredibly God. subtle. Like, it wasn't incredibly subtle, but it was more subtle than most of the movie was. The entire movie was desperately craving some subtlety. Like, yeah. yeah. It just it reminded me, like, Blade it. Runner. It really needed it. Like, it yeah. needed some kind of subtlety to it, and it just didn't. Like, they kept doing, like, okay, but here's the thing that I... I think the scene with them where they end up in the water looks Ugh. absolutely gorgeous. Oh yeah. Honestly. Yeah. It looked incredible. Like there's n the the um the, the choreography is so simple, but just the water adds that kind Wait, of was element. Was that the that one where he was beating cool. himself where it looked like Patrick when he was beating himself no. up? Oh. No, <laughs> sort of, a little bit. They use that element once, but it's mostly when she like corners him. Is that the scene where the garbage truck no. Got driver. No. <laughs> Garbage is that the scene where they took, is that the scene where get, they took yeah, no. uh, Jacob, guns out of their ponchos? <laughs> yeah, J-Prob, I get it. You didn't really pay attention to the movie. Now can I finish? <laughs> like, the it, it really is. There's enough to it there that you can look at it and go, okay, I kind of see it. Like, as, as someone who is a fan of anime, I kind of liked the action scenes where they tried to be creative and added some more of those elements to it because... It clearly shows that at least they somewhat get it. And I think the main issue I'm getting with it is that when j Prop said, this movie was meant to get me into anime, I don't think that's what it was trying to do. But I can, think can I argue that for a second? Can I just argue that for a second? No. Um, yeah, finish with okay, the point, fine. Or... Oh, sorry, sorry. Finish your point, and then I'll argue that. It's like, uh, this movie is supposed to get me into anime. I don't think that's what it was trying to do. 
I think it was trying to make a decent movie. It didn't do very well at that. But I don't think we should judge every single thing and be like, okay, well, anime is not going to happen then. Because it, with a better writer, it could have been good. It honestly could. They got, they got the elements that I think most of the anime movies have been lacking for a while, which is the, the choreography, everything like that is terrible in those movies. And like, they still need to get the dialogue better. They need to get the story better. And after once they get those, I think they can get some good shit out there. Like, make a fist of the North Star sort of thing. I was excited for that Death mm. Note uh, TV show. Oh, no. So oh, angry. God. Yeah. No. Nah. Jack, that's not all that needs nah. to be said. I just kind of want to address that. Yes. The way I argue that is, if it was a good movie, I'd be into anime. But, um... No, you wouldn't. <laughs> that's not how that works. <laughs> that's very, that's very that, false. That's... Yeah, that's that that's no, it's, when you no that. because I'd be like, yeah. oh wow, this was pretty interesting. Maybe I should do some research on Ghost in the Shell. Maybe I should check it out. But I went in completely. Or blind. you could not like the movie and be like, oh, let me check out Ghost in the Shell, yeah. like the anime, and see if it's yeah. Better. But a movie's supposed to be available to wider audiences. That's what a film is supposed to do. It's supposed to, especially a big blockbuster movie starring Scarlett Johansson. It's supposed to be. It's, you know, a wider range of audience. But it shouldn't, like, completely turn you off from anime. It's like, oh, all anime fucking eats ass. No, I don't I'm mean that. I, I don't it. mean that, but I mean, I just cared less than when I walked in, is what I ultimately I, I think, mean. I think well, that's because it's like, a bad movie. I think that's just a shit walked movie. In and been like, that's like me going in to watch Thor 2, like, The Dark World, and going, wow, this is a fucking piece of shit. I hate Marvel now, and will yeah. not continue to watch any Marvel movie from this day forward. Like, I don't it, necessarily mean that, though. I I just mean that, like, I, I just wanted to like it, <laughs> but, you know, I, but I, I didn't honestly, care like, about it. Like, okay, like, look, okay. See if if they make a some kind of movie based on an anime. Like, okay, see, in the in the very slim chance, because it's JoJo's not going to happen. In the very slim chance that Death Note is good, and I go to and I go, hey Jacob, I think you should give this movie a chance and come see it. And you say is it a movie no, or TV and I say show? The, if it's a TV movie, show? I don't know. I'm just giving Wait, a hypothetical no, situation. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay, but they're going. It's like in the in the very slim chance that it's good. I'm like, hey, I really liked it. I think you should see it. Like maybe it'll change your opinion. And then you say no, and I ask why, and your answer is because Ghost in the Shell. Sucked. No, I don't really mean it like That's that. I don't, I don't really mean it like that. I mean, it just it just kind of just like it, it it just put a bitter taste in my mouth. Is, is what I ultimately mean. Well, that's, I think what sucks Jake, is that they chose such a big property, like a like a movie that like a lot of anime fans are very familiar with. It's like it's like making an American version of Akira. I'm I want that to happen now, especially since I saw the city in Ghost in the Shell. I'm a because little Akira nervous. Better. I think it's too soon to to remake Akira just because of Ghost in the Shell, just because it's very similar. They're not like gonna do it, it now, like, like, sty- like style, like style wise, it's way too similar, and they should probably wait on that. Um, All right, I so just... I think we're done with that. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, I don't Jack, know. Jack, what's, what's your final score on Ghost in the Shell? Uh, uh, four and a half out of five, out of ten. I think, <laughs> halves, I think fuck your halves. I yeah, think you, that high, you got a higher I, score than me there. Because I don't, I can't confidently give it a four, but I can't, I, I don't feel good giving it a five. That's that's basically average. I wouldn't give it a five either. That's fine. Yeah, it's it's fine. it's it's an average movie. It's fine. It's not yeah. terrible. There's some like possibility for improvement if given a better like actor. Not actor. Actors were fine. But director. Writer. Direct, direct, yeah. Basically, the most important fucking elements of the movie. Yeah. But there's a possibility. Like like I, the most the main thing people were always worried about when they said, "Oh, we're gonna make an anime movie," is the fucking, you know, the, the, everything else is going to be shit. Well, just quick question for Shannon. In respect towards, like, the anime and the anime movies, uh, you know, specifically, like, was this faithful to the anime at all? Was it, like, was it a good representation? It's really hard to say, because I... This is one of the few things where I, I do view them as two completely separate entities, and mm-hmm. I don't feel comfortable comparing one to another, so I won't. Oh. Okay, that's fine. I just say yeah. just oh. I just I would just say just just um view them as two entire entirely separate properties. Yeah. Oh. Okay. okay. Real quick, because I I wanted to mention this, and we just kind of got caught up. So, um, the whole thing of like everyone thinking it's being whitewashed. Uh, I really so, didn't want to bring this up. <laughs> I, I think it needs to be addressed because like there are still companies who are like, oh, she's like playing a Japanese woman because of her name at the end. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, but I think we kind of got rid of that with the fact that they diversified Tokyo. Also, yeah, the fact that like exactly. when they when they have the flashback scene, she's obvious. Like the very like small flashback of her getting dragged out of the house, she was obviously Japanese. Yeah, it's like, just that now she's in a robot body that's modeled after an American woman, and I don't think it's you, that big of a fucking deal. Can you whitewash a robot? The, like, exactly. Yeah, that, she's that not. She's not a human. Argument. She's a robot. Robots do not have ethnicities. Yeah. I I explained that to like some well to like 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 it made no sense when everyone was just like oh they're whitewashing a Japanese person. She's not a person. Even yeah. like that's the, the fucking robot. Main argument. Would you- would you give a crap if it was a black woman instead? Nobody would say it's blackwashing Japan. Nobody would say that. And I'm not trying to make it about that. I'm just saying that nobody gives a shit about it because it doesn't make any sense. That's all I'm trying to say. It's just, it, the whole thing is just like, like, it's clearly they change their face when they're made. Yeah. Like, because obviously, like, you know, most of the hybrids, most of them are, like, not Japanese. For some reason. I just noticed. Like, you look at them, they're mostly American. Yeah. Which, you know, whatever. And it's like, everyone's argument was like, oh, his name is Hideo, so he should be Japanese. Kojima. That's not necessarily true because of the diversify- the, the, the diversity of <laughs> Tokyo at the time. It, it's, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I think they should have used Japanese actors, but <sighs> it makes more sense than previously seen. And diversity also, University. And again, like I, I do Monsters understand. University. I do understand why Hollywood, like, doesn't want to use the Japanese actors sometimes, like, because you know they don't sell tickets. It just I makes economic there... sense. Yeah. So you know, yeah, it, uh, Hollywood's always going to be a, a, a more focused on money. Yeah. And we, we just sort of yeah. have to accept that at this point. It's always going to be a shit nothing's show. Really, nothing's really going to change that. All right, so now that we're done so with that touchy on to subject. Jacobs. Yes. 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 Jacobs, yeah. nothing. All right, I guess you're going to stop ripping on me now. Um, yeah. yeah. Hashtag all of these movies are before 2000. Uh, no, they're not. Yes, they are. Ooh. No, they're not. There's one of them's drive. Oh, fuck, yeah. Okay, so oh, I got yeah, a couple sure. shout-outs. Um, I got a shout-out. District 9. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. Really? Man on the Moon. <laughs> Everyone yeah. just, eh. Oh, Man on the Moon. Uh, I love Man on the Moon, so I agree with that. Uh, okay. Fury Road. Yes! Oh, yeah. uh, I, I, I'm kind of glad that's a shout-out, not on Top 10. Uh, Dead Poet Society. Hell yes. Yeah. And Taxi Driver. I think Good Will Hunting was better. Yo, stop! stop. My boy Wicked Smart! <laughs> Alright, so my, uh, my, top, my number 10 is Drive. Um, oh, wow! That's yeah, really that's, low yeah. for you. lower than I thought it would be. Um, it's really Ron Perlman that brings the movie down. Um, <laughs> not a fan of Ron Perlman. Also, the dialogue is eh in the movie. Yeah. It's kind of forgettable. That fucking soundtrack, though. The soundtrack's yeah. awesome. And ten ten. just the way it's shot. Oh, that was something I didn't mention for Ghost in the Shell. The soundtrack was good. That's it. I'm done. I don't even remember it. Ron it's Gosling, action hero, and by the end of the movie, um, I drives... I action hero... <laughs> Um, drives off into the sunset at the end of the movie. The I love it. Hero. Everyone should watch it. Um, oh god, last action. Honestly, I I can't respect Drive because it basically made like the illegitimate child of God Only Forgives. So I really can't forgive it for that. Yeah. But overall, solid. I watched it in bits, unfortunately, but solid movie. Pretty good movie. Yeah, it's just really an underrated neo noir L A crime thriller. Uh, I don't. I don't think it's underrated at all. Actually, like, I, I think like, over the years yeah, it's garnered. I, think, I, I yeah, it's garnered like a cult following. Yeah, like it's not really a, it underrated. Like I, I don't feel comfortable calling Iron Giant underrated anymore because it's not. Yeah, I don't. I like, don't think it was. Is. Like at currently, now it isn't. Yeah. It used to be. Now it isn't. All right, so my uh, number nine I'm sort of does that. Number nine, Forrest Gump. Um, I grew up with this movie. Right. I mean, honestly. Oh, sorry, Jacob. Go ahead. Go ahead. I grew up with this movie. Robert Zemeckis is fa- one of my favorite directors. Tom Hanks is one of my favorite actors. In a, it looks back on American society, which I always love. Um, classic hero harkens back to old Hollywood. I just love it. There's not really much to. I feel like Forrest Gump is definitely one of those movies where people are afraid to say like it's one of their favorites because everybody likes it. And that's, yeah. not a, that's not a bad It's like thing. saying, like, oh, Super Smash Bros. is my favorite game, but everybody likes 
Super Smash Bros. Yeah, fuck yeah. But Smash I under Bros, I completely like I I I kind of like congratulate you for actually admitting like yeah this is actually one of my favorite movies. Yeah. It's a, I, it's, I, it's a great movie. I think it, it used to be number one. Plays, it used to be number one on my list, and then I saw wow. a million other yep. movies. <laughs> um, <laughs> Forrest Gump was the first movie I've ever seen, so it was my I think favorite. It does, then I, I think it does other. go both ways though, because like yeah, it, like people are afraid to admit that they like it, but they're also afraid to admit that they don't like it. That's true. Really good well so hunting. Well like, for, like I could understand. No, no, no I can understand why you don't like it. With that. Yeah. Because like I like. I love Forrest Gump, don't get me wrong, but I think there's problems, and people are afraid to admit those problems. No, yeah, they're problems. Um, but every you know, movie has problems. I, I've never, there's no perfect movie. There's never been a perfect movie. But I just think Forrest Gump is just such a... It's just a likable movie. It's just an enjoy, yeah. likable characters. That's definitely and true. There's nothing wrong with enjoyable characters, you know? Yes. Um, number eight, everyone loves this movie. There will be blood. Um, I have a secret. I will, I will oh, give... I will give Oh, okay, Shannon, I was about to make the bet for $5 if anybody could keep that quote you just said out of this talk. Nope. And <laughs> I beat you to before you even made you, the bet. You beat me to it. Stupid. Good movie, though. I, um, yep, there. the milkshake. milkshake. And I think the... I the, 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 thing people, the, the thing people forget about this movie is Paul Dano is, is fantastic in this movie, and Paul he Dano's holds his own... Underrated. He holds his own against Daniel Day Lewis, who's like A plus actor, um, yeah. and he's great. In it. And I honestly thought it should have won Best Picture over No Country for Old Men, but that's a minority re- opinion right there. Um, yeah. That's a minority report. Yeah, it's a minority report. Um, but no, I love it. I love it. Yeah, it's great. Um, um, uh, so wait, quick. Um, kind of an, uh, a weird opinion, but I. Daniel Day Lewis might be one of the greatest actors of he all is. time. He is no, no, that's not a no. That's fair. That's fair. I wouldn't. That's fair. I think. I think it could be hotly debated about, but I think. I think he'd be up there. Yeah. He can have a yeah, whole. Like, like, I feel there. like if like you try to like do a top ten list, I feel like he'd be on it. Like even if like no, definitely most people like yeah like like some people would be like. I think there's an issue of, like, people saying that people who are still around are on the best of all time list, but that doesn't really apply with people like Robert De Niro or Jack Nicholson. Yeah. yeah. But, like, I feel like if you think about, you know, Daniel Day-Lewis, who consistently makes really good movies... Exactly. He should be, he should be recognized. Lincoln, There Be Blood, Gangs of New York, My Left Foot, uh, you know, just a lot of great movies. Yeah. He's really um, good. So what yeah. are we up to? Number seven? Uh, Terminator no, 2. Eight. Oh, no, no, oh, no, no. Nine, eight, eight, it's ten, nine, yeah, it's seven. Uh, yeah, you're right. No, you're up to eight. Terminator Two. Yeah, seven. Yeah. Um, ter- Terminator Two. Uh, Classic action movie. James Cameron. Um, I just grew up with this movie. I love the action. Everything is memorable to it. Still holds up. I just love it. I think um, that's. I think that's James Cameron's best work. Terminator Two. I really can. It, it's one of, uh, if yeah, not the. It's not one. It's one of, if not the greatest action movies of all time definitely yeah definitely. definitely i also think i also think it's up there for probably the not nah, i'll say it yeah best sequel ever made and that <laughs> scene in the mall it, oh my god scene i mean in the mall and the scene with the minigun everything's just great yeah um good solid movie yeah yeah very solid movie where do we have to six uh american Shout graffiti <laughs> yeah. american graffiti that's yeah, american graffiti <laughs> george lucas's second film um yeah. Before he turned into a crazy man, he made a. Before he was shit. Ooh. A Ooh. classic. Ooh. Love. 50s teenager movie, and it started Harrison Ford's first movie. Yeah, I actually really, really, really like um American Graffiti. Richard Dreyfuss, one style. of his first movies. Um, yeah. Ron Howard, one of his first movies. Um, I think so... it's better. I think it's better Grease without the music. Yeah, basically. Um, yeah, just a classic right. movie. It's, it's um, good. Every time I like, one problem I've always had with it was the ending. No, I love the ending. Bit, it seems a bit stupid sometimes. <laughs> like, with, no, no, with the plane driving off, and it's just like he's dead now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't like that. I was like, mm. I know they did the same thing in Stand by Me, but at least in Stand by Me, it's like it, it kind of has that weird Stephen King esque like zaniness to it. And then where he's, we got... like, where, where he's like, uh, oh, he was he was stabbed in the throat at McDonald's. No, I love it. I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
He was beat up in an Applebee's parking lot. That's really it. That's really it, though. Like, <laughs> he broke up. He broke up. Yellow, otherwise, is a really good movie. That. So, we got number five, uh, Godfather. Um, Which one? The first one, the OG one. I, I, understand. Understand. But I, can, I can see why you take yeah. yeah, I can see why you see the first one is better though. The thing about Godfather One is it's so rewatchable and it revolutionized dramas today. I mean, from that point on, the drama, the thriller, acting, you know, method acting, um, was kind of all of started, acting. or yeah, or or lack of acting, uh, kind of all started with Drive. Uh, not the tr- fucking Drive. Five. I'm tired. Yes, yeah. Of the Twenty of a generation. I mean The Godfather. Um, it's just great. Um, you know, make him an offer he can't refuse. You know, Al Pacino. Everything's just great Al about it. Al Pacino? No. <laughs> Remember, I, I, Jacob, that's where that actor's career has gone now. <laughs> <laughs> Al Pacino, no. Don't Pacino. Oh. Um, Don't Pacino. Wait, 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 real quick. That's where he's gone, so- <laughs> So I I feel like we we all overrate Marlon Brando's performance. I don't know because I I think it's good. But he, the, we we brought this up before where he just didn't give a shit the entire time. Right, yeah, yeah. But I think the issue is that he's literally not playing a character. But he made an iconic role though. People. people yeah. But like I don't like that role like, all the time. I know I just don't like when people are just like he, that's the greatest <laughs> performance Marlon Brando has ever done. No. It's his best character, but it's not really a character. It's him. He's just being a <laughs> the old Italian man. Like, that works. He, he, you know, and of course, it's perfect. It, like, you couldn't have gotten better in that role. But, like, the whole thing. Oh, this is kind of a fun thing to bring up. Did you know that Al Pacino was, like, so pissed off at him the entire time? Mm. in the During that movie? Because when they did the Oscars for it, like, um, the Native he American. Had to, he, he had to settle for supporting actor. Oh no, I thought you were going to say that Marlon Brando, when he won, he had a Native American go up and receive the award. No, I remember that. But um, the, the weird thing was that like uh, Al Pacino was like incredibly pissed off at Marlon Brando and the executives behind the movie because he, he felt that his role was worthy enough to win Best Actor, and to be honest, he was right. But... But they gave it to Brando because they're just like, let him have one, almost. And they're just like, hey, settle because we need to keep him on the cards and everything like that. So but, I think we can all agree Godfather's a very, the, very, very good movie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's pretty alright. Part 2 is better. I think yeah, you can argue personally. it. I just like the OG. Yeah, I get um, that, though. The so, original. Number 4, Dark Knight. Yeah! Um, better than Logan! Logan. Yeah, b- better than Logan. Every scene is memorable. You either die a hero, you live long enough to see yourself become the villain, opening robbery. Oh, I've never said that before. Um, trucks, the truck scene. Best the... acting scene ever, no it's doubt. It's fantastic. I it's... don't think anyone could argue that, that that is not the best action scene ever. I can, film. but you don't care, so. Yeah, I don't care, and I say that it's the best. Get over it. Yeah, pretty much. Um, Obviously, yeah. we have... Dark different Knight. opinions on it, but I love The Dark Knight. Grew up with it. Um, no, it's still a fantastic movie. I just don't think it's the best movie ever. I don't think it is either. I think it's really. I think it's better than Logan, though. Okay, so these next three movies I consider to be perfect movies, in my opinion. Where movies I can't name a fault with. I can't say, "Wow, that was wrong in this movie," or "This was wrong." Don't worry, so just... we, that's why we're here. Don't yeah. Worry, yeah. <laughs> um, Goodfellas is my third number three. All right, um, I'm not Shannon can't anymore. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I know I know we're doing my list like eventually, but like Goodfellas is probably one of my favorite movies of all time and I I can yeah. I can still list faults with it though. Yeah. It's a comedic godfather, I'd say dark comedy yeah. god. But it's, I it's a it. it's a better paced godfather because let's be real, like Godfather's slow. Yeah, but it, it's it's not modern, you know, like Godfather uh, Goodfellas is like the nineties Godfather. Yeah, no, no, the no, 70s, no. Goodfellas two different spans, time periods. Yeah, I was gonna say it spans over decades, but Goodfellas has like quicker pacing, and that's Good. I I personally yeah. I prefer Goodfellas over Godfather because I've talked about that's how the pacing in Goodfellas just works for me. Yeah. Whereas Godfather, it's it, it it's faster. very very it drags. <laughs> like, like Godfather's was like like Goodfellas went looked at Godfather and went I could shave like forty five minutes off of that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, number two, it it was good. 
Number two, <laughs> Empire Strikes Back. Um, Hell yeah. yeah. I, I tried to the first one. <laughs> I, this is the best Star Wars movie. It's one of the best uh, fantasy films. Characters are all memorable. Episode three uh, was better. Yeah. Action, you know, Hoth. He agreed to it. He agreed to it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yacht Hoth, Millennium Falcon. Everything's just great in it. Um, what do, wait, what does that mean, the Millennium Falcon? That was in the last iconic. What's no, different no. about this time? I'm just saying it's iconic, you know, the meteor, you go going through the meteor, uh, oh, okay. asteroid yeah, belt. In the belly of that Yoda. Giant space um, slug. That's cool. Darth, the fight with Darth Vader. Yeah. No, I'm your father. Um, classic. So there's a lot of classic. Yeah. Spoilers. And then number one. <laughs> you oh, guys boy. Know, you guys know. <laughs> Sorry, is. guys. Jack, you're going to have to cut out the spoiler. <laughs> is it back to the butcher? Yes, it's Back to the Future. Back to Future. Ooh, God, oh, I you, hate the OG. you. Why? Back to Fuelers? Ferris Bueller's um, Day Off. <laughs> back to Bueller? Ferris Bueller's. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> it's, it's, back to the Future 1 is a perfect comedy, a perfect science movie, a perfect relationship, buddy, buddy it's just movie. It's about love. It's just an all-around perfect movie, in my opinion. It, I, it, have, it, I have something. I have something that's not perfect about it that you could agree with. That's the power of love. And it's, it's name. Right. It's name. They don't go to the future. No, no, you're wrong. In no, the movie, no, Doc. Wrong. No, in the movie, Doc Brown goes. We have to send you back to the future. So he's in the fifties. He's going back to the future, returning to the eighties, which is the future. Also yeah, in the. Movie. Also well, in at the end of the first. Movie. Well, then they just kept the title. Yeah, but also what I mean, it's not—it's not perfect. <laughs> All right, Jack. That doesn't deteriorate <laughs> the quality of the film. Oh no, 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 no! I never said that. I just said it's not the perfect movie. So, like there is a problem with it that everyone could agree with. I don't agree. I think it's perfect the way it is. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, Johnny it love. and that's kind of it. That's my list. Yo, I think like I think that for that felt like first three years when the when the second movie wasn't out yet, everyone was like, "Why is it called that?" No, I'm pretty, sure they pretty much. <laughs> yeah. They probably announced that it was going to be a trilogy, to be honest, but still. Yeah. And that's the list. There you go. All simple, right. Simple, but I love it. So. Now what? I think that's kind of it. Well, yeah, I think that's everything. Are we done? Wait, hold on. Are we going to get cut off? What? No. No. I'm going to close we it. We should do an outro. <laughs> All right. Oh, would we get cut off? Joke. All right. It's been fun, my friends. Uh,. Uh, Make sure to hit the link and subscribe button. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna hurt. be that guy. I'm, I'm, I assume They're you're bleeding. smart enough to hit those yourself if you actually like the video. So, um, all right. Thank you for listening. I like all. how. Uh, Have a good night. Bye, everyone. Just, uh, bye. Bye. bye.